I'm very, very excited to welcome our guest right now. It's the one and only Jason Derulo. Hey there. <laughs> um, I'm really, really excited that you're uh, my guest because you definitely don't remember this, um, but you work. I was working my very first shift at Kiss FM was like uh -huh. a Jason Derulo fan event. Uh -huh. And I was so nervous because I'd never, obviously never done anything for KISS before. And you could not have been more lovely, kinder, sweeter, just uh -huh. humble. And it was just like such a great experience. And I will never forget that. And so I've, oh, like from that day, I've been a Jason Derulo fan through and through. Oh, that's incredible. Well, I'm, I'm glad you had that experience. And I always thought you, you were a sweetheart as well. Well, thank you very much. Um, so we're, I'm excited to have you on because I obviously like I see you as first and foremost as a singer, artist, you know, that's that's how I know you. But it's like so cool because especially now in these times, like you're not just one thing, you're a multi hyphenate and mm -hmm. you're like this like mega influencer now. And it's like so cool to see that like you just like, how does that like is there a specific lane like do you prefer doing one thing over the other but obviously you're creative and that all of these things require creativity but like is there something you prefer doing over the other you know what i've just always been um a, a, a creative in general you know i was an arts kid um so building something from nothing has always just kind of been my thing whether it's uh writing songs whether it's uh making choreography whether it's um designing uh this compound um uh it's it's just always been a thing of mine like i just love seeing things from nothing become um you know a masterpiece and and in, in, in to some degree um you know building building this house was like it, it was an experience for the last couple of years um so i think you know with tiktok it's become the same thing you know it started off as like you know this this hobby uh and then it became like <laughs> sort of like this obsession um, so, you know, I, I just really have a good time and really lead with, uh, that in mind, you know, just, just having a good time. If it's not fun, then it's not for me. If it's not fun, then it's not for me. That's actually a great, like, kind of, um, gauge to have, but the, the mm -hmm. videos are actually really, really well done. And like, you can tell Thank that you're, you. ha you're, ha you're having a lot of fun. You know what I mean? Like, and they actually, they for don't, sure. they look like they don't, that's not easy. Like, I feel like those take you a very long time. Um, yeah, some some do actually. Some take a long time. Um, a lot of people think that I have like this humongous team of people, <laughs> um, uh, but you know, it's actually uh, David Stribick and I. Just just uh, uh, one guy from uh, from Australia, who is 22 years old, and yeah, we just we, uh, we it's just a two man show. Like he 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 captures everything so wild it's literally so wild. and then i feel like um the song that you have right now savage love which by the way i love and thank it's you. like doing awesome so congrats on that thank you so um, much so did you guys hear that uh because i know I, I i'm not gonna sing but the the melody the beat that da, 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 yeah da, da, da. did you hear that on tiktok first and then you were like i want to make a song out of that or how did that all come about Yes. So yeah, I heard I heard it on TikTok. I mean, yeah, it was you know the the craze on TikTok, um, and I'm always looking for for uh, like fresh sounds, you know, things that are different that are left, um, and you know, I I I thought it would be cool to to uh, you know call the kid up and and you know see where it would go, you know, and um, I called him up and I got the files and um, I created a song to you know his. Uh, his his beat that was going crazy um and you know i, I think it's going to be an amazing springboard for him and you know he'll be able to go on and you know do incredible things uh hopefully you know with with the right mindset um so yeah you know i've, I've always kind of been that guy to uh reach out um to to the younger generation to um you know help build them up you know talk dirty i mean that was uh ricky reed's first first hit he's ever had he made that beat uh john bellion um with trumpets that was you know his first hit you know uh ian kirkpatrick want to want me that was his first hit um just you know reaching out to the younger guys that i feel have the potential who i see uh see you know if if they you know choose the right route can have an amazing future
what did he like i'm just trying to picture like what did he say when you reached out was he just like what and did you like go to his dms or like how did you like reach i out did to his, yeah did? i went to his dms and, and he and he and he couldn't believe it he, like he, he literally could not believe it um you know he told me he was he was a huge fan and um and i and i and i told him the same you know I, I you know i think what you've done is incredible and um let's see what let's see what we can do let's see what we can uh make together um and uh the rest is history that is so freaking cool i love hearing mm-hmm. stories like that and that all happened obviously during quarantine during quarantine yup yeah. Have you felt like you've been more creative, like, because, you know, your life is very busy and you, I feel like you were just constantly, you know, constantly on the go. And now we're kind of forced to slow down and stop a little bit. Do you think that's helped your creativity a little bit more and given you like more time to do that? Absolutely. I, absolutely. I think, you know, my life is just so go, go, go all the time. And I have 13 businesses. Um, you know, you can just kind of get caught up in just life. You know what I'm saying? So um, quarantine, I, I, I was always preaching to, to everyone else, you know, find your thing in quarantine, like learn something. Don't come out of quarantine the same as when uh, you got into it. Um, and I, I took my own advice and, uh, uh, you know, with the, the, the time, <laughs> I was just able to just do so much. I mean, I have four songs coming out this month um, and, uh, and a lot more coming out after that. Uh, you know, TikTok has been a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so it's just it's just been an all around like very positive experience from that standpoint. And how do you decide? Because I know you just released "Don't Cry for Me." Mm-hmm. And so, how are you like deciding when you want to roll out your new music? Is it just kind of like whenever you want? Yes, yeah, it's, it's whenever I want. You know, I was signed to a record label for twelve years, and um, you know now I have one of the, the number one records in the world, and I don't I'm not on the record label. <laughs> Um, so, you know, it's just a sense of freedom. It's a, a, just a sense of, of, of basically like what you said, like whatever I want to do, whatever is, whatever I feel, feel is right at that particular time, I'll, I'll do it. You know, it's, as long as it's organic to me and, um, where I see myself going. So, you know, I, I, I definitely think there's going to be a time where I, uh, will find the home, the record label that I feel like is a perfect fit. But at, for at this second, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the freedom. Um, so yeah, I have uh, Savage Love out right now. I uh, just released uh, a song that I can't really say the title because it's profane, but it's C O N O. Um, and then uh, Don't Cry for Me uh, just came out as well, and I have one more coming out at the end of the month. That must be actually like very freeing. I feel like in a way because I think you really you hit the nail on the head when you said just like when it feels organic and authentic. And I think a lot of the time we can kind of lose sight of that because there's so many opinions and everybody has an opinion and everybody has, you know, thinks something. And I think Mm -hmm. it's actually probably feels really empowering and powerful to kind of have all the say, you know? Absolutely. 100%. Um, And, you know, I think also, you know, there's just, just, there can be a lot of uh, back and forth. You know, if you're just not seeing eye to eye, you don't just don't want to be in those kind of uh, situations when you're trying to be creative. You know, mm-hmm. you need you need a team of people that that see your vision, that see uh, where you're headed as an artist. Um, and sometimes that's difficult when you have new people coming into companies, right? So, like, what happened at at, uh, at Warner Brothers? I mean, there was in my career there was four new regimes. So every time I was getting comfortable with a team of people, um, those people were fired and then another team was brought in and then another team was brought in. And another, so I was four times removed from the people that signed me. So right. you know, at that point, it's just like, who the hell are y'all? Right, like, right. Y'all don't know what I'm doing and y'all too busy trying to sign other artists when y'all got the hardest, hottest artists in the world. I mean, like, let's, let, what, what are we doing here? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And that's powerful. And I... I commend you. It probably felt really good. Yeah, um, it does. It feels even better to have, you know, a number one record uh, yeah. on, on, the, on the heels of that. Yeah. <laughs> not too shabby, not too shabby. <laughs> um, and then I just wanted to kind of, because I feel like, you know, everybody, I, you have always been somebody that I feel like has just a very optimistic and positive energy. 
And I think mm-hmm. that right now it's, there, it's a time where people are, you know, kind of being a little negative and, you know, we all just kind of, you know, we're in this unknown. We don't really know what's going to, you know, happen and what's going to come. And um, what's something that you've learned that I feel like maybe you can encourage other people who might be kind of down right now? Um, you know, it's, it's really a cliche to, uh, you know, say things like, you know, see the, the glass, like, half full instead of half empty. Um, it's, it's tough, you know, to even, even think like that in these trying times. You know, people, people are, are dying. People's family members are dying. Um, so, you know, I, I totally understand the frustration. Um, and as hard, hard as it is, I still think that having a goal always helps you to push forward. You know, That's so if, if, if you just have a goal or, or a couple of tangible goals, um, I think, you know, just, it just helps you get through the day. You know, um, some people, you know, you may have like this large goal, but sometimes it's a little easier to have smaller goals that you that are tangible so that you can find yourself having wins, little wins every single day. You know, it just it just increases that positivity within your life. And um, it just gets you closer to that to that big goal. You know, even setting a goal of um, if you if you want to lose uh, 30 pounds, if you're able to lose a pound in uh, four days or a pound in five days, you know, that's a tangible goal. And you lose that and you're like, okay, this is actually possible. Yeah. My, I said, that's actually really great advice because I set a goal. I want to run 10 miles by the time quarantine's over and I've I've gotten to nine. So I'm like, I'm almost there. (laughs) Wow. But it's and true it looks setting. Like, it looks. It looks like you're gonna have a lot more time in quarantine. So don't worry. You're gonna get, <laughs> you're gonna get to the ten. <laughs> uh, thank you, That's seriously. Incredible. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk today. I really appreciate oh, it. Uh, everybody that's listening, check out Savage Love by Jason Drulo and Josh Six Eight Five. Make sure you stay. T- What's your TikTok handle? I uh, just Jason Drulo. Jason Derulo. Um, yeah. Follow him. Send him your love because we love you, Jason Derulo. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks, T. Nice to talk to you. Nice to talk to you, too.